Hey, it's Alex from Voiceflow, and welcome to this case study series. Together, we're going to learn a blueprint for making real-world AI solutions with conceptual lessons about everything, from evaluation to building and deployment. And by the end of this course, you'll be able to apply this framework to your own use case by identifying a problem that AI can help you solve, getting started, improving your agent, and bringing it all the way to production ready. And you'll learn how we put theory into practice by developing a case study for a Q&A chatbot for Hack the North, the largest hackathon in Canada, where an AI solution answers participants' questions automatically through Slack, integrating lots of real-time data, maps, insights, and more, both to innovate and improve the participant experience, as well as to reduce the strain on organizers during the event who get hundreds of questions. Let me give you an idea of what the final solution looks like. So from Slack here, we can ask any question we want, like, what is Hack the North? We'll then see that the bot will react with a bot emoji saying that it's pending an answer. It's going to do all the AI logic in VoiceFlow, and then it's going to give us back an answer in our Slack thread. So here we see the answer came back. We can read it, a really long answer explaining what Hack the North is, very thorough. And then at the end, we can give some feedback on if it was good or not. Let's say, yes, this was a great answer. But now let's ask a little bit more of a strange question about where the activity with fish is. This one isn't found in our knowledge base anywhere. We actually don't have any activity about fish. So the AI is gonna get a little bit confused here. As we can see, it wasn't able to find any specific information and tried to give us a general map, but it didn't really know what it was doing. On the other hand though, this project supports adding information in real time through announcements. So we can go to the announcements channel and saying, hey hackers, the fish activity is being hosted on the third floor. Now, the AI will append and add the information to the voice flow knowledge base. Now though, if we go back to the questions and ask the same question again, it'll actually be able to tell us where this activity is happening. If we look in the thread, we can actually see that the fish activity is being hosted on the third floor. Make sure to check it out. And it even gave us a map of the third floor. Well, here's not really a map of the third floor, but it would be once we have it filled out. The AI can also handle emergencies. Let's say you cut yourself. It's not going to give you a stupid answer. Here it's giving you some basic instructions on dealing with a wound, but also giving you some resources to call 911 or campus security. It's also notified organizers through the extensive monitoring system that exists in this Q&A tool. So here, if we go to Q&A monitoring, we can actually see the questions I just asked we can see that the what is Hack the North question was answered, but that when I cut myself, it actually sent an emergency detected notification to organizers. This gives us great visibility. From here, we can also go look back at the thread, or we can look at the voice flow transcript to get a better understanding of what's going on. Where here we can see the actual question and answering process it did, or we can even look at extra analytics that are stored in Airtable. So we can do post event analysis of the performance of our AI solution. Here seeing answer success, answer scores, and user satisfaction. This series is especially useful for builders and leaders who really want to focus on making real-world production-ready AI solutions. And watching this will help you both prepare and develop your own solution. There are three important phases to building your AI solution, and we'll cover each of them in their own video. The first will be about evaluating and planning your solution and all the things you have to think about when it comes to AI. The second video goes into the development process to deliver the Q&A chatbot you just saw a demo of, including the architectures being used in these AI solutions and the process of slowly building up your interface and your AI agent, looking at some of its different versions, some of the common challenges I encountered. The third and final video is about deployment and iteration and goes into the QA process, collaboration, and experimental results we've had in the process of getting this agent ready for production. So this core video series will look into the process and case study of developing this project. But if you're interested in a full technical walkthrough, I've recorded a one and a half hour guide that'll also be in the video description. It goes into all the workflows, all the steps, all the nitty gritty of the Voiceflow project and of the Slack code that's running it, and can give you some instructions to get started running it yourself. But anyways, I'll see you in video one about evaluation and planning.